it's Liv. Today I am bringing you three simple and delicious vegan pasta recipes. So I just wanted to tell those of you who don't know, I actually have a website. It is liveshealthylife.com and you can go there to sign up to get a free mini ebook as well as see my blog posts which range from anything from vegan food to fashion. And for those of you who have been asking, I actually host my website on Squarespace and if you're interested in hearing more about that, stay tuned for the end of the video where I will discuss it a little bit more in depth. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. Start by adding three heaping tablespoons of almond butter to a bowl, followed by a tablespoon of tomato paste. Then you're going to add three tablespoons of maple syrup or another type of liquid sweetener and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And again, just give that a stir so that we keep combining it as we go. Then we're adding a tablespoon of lemon juice and two to three teaspoons of curry powder. Last, you're going to add some non-dairy milk, so I'm just using almond milk, and I suggest adding around a quarter cup, but you can add more if you want the sauce to be runnier. Stir it until it is all smooth, and then we'll move on to the veggies. So in a medium frying pan, add some chopped veggies of your choice. Red pepper works really well in here. I also added green onion and some pieces of bok choy. Then once they're cooked to your liking, you're going to add the sauce to the pan, as well as around two cups of cooked noodles. I love using penne noodles for this, but you can really use any type of noodles that you like. I added a little bit of almond milk here just to thin it out a bit more because it got really thick when I put it on the heat. But that is essentially it. Um, if you're going to add some greens, I suggest adding them about two minutes before you're going to eat it. So I added the top of the bok choy along with a handful of fresh spinach. And then you are ready to plate it up and eat it. We're going to add about two cups of cooked noodles into a bowl. I'm using these rotini noodles. Then add a half cup of black beans, one tomato chopped, and a half cup of corn. And just give that a quick little stir before we move on to the dressing. So for the dressing, it is a half cup of vegan mayo, one tablespoon of lime juice, a quarter teaspoon of cumin and a half teaspoon of chili powder. I'm not sure where the footage went, but you also need to add a teaspoon of sweetener. So I added maple syrup, but you could also add another type of liquid sweetener. And then right before you serve it, you're going to add some chunks of avocado. This pasta is best served cold and it's a really good option for bringing with you to work or school for a lunch. Start by adding a bit of olive oil to a pan or you can skip this step if you don't wanna use the oil. And then I'm just frying some vegan chicken fingers. These are the Gardein brand and some sliced up green peppers. Then you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and just stir that around. And you want to cook this for about four minutes per side. So in total, you'll be cooking it for around eight minutes. Instead of using a heavy cream like is in traditional cream sauces, we are going to make our own using cashews. So before you make this about an hour before, you're going to soak one cup of cashews in one and a half cups of water, and then just put it in a high speed blender. I'm using a Vitamix and blend it up until it is completely smooth. This took about a minute. So then you're just going to add the cashew cream to the pan. And on top of that, we're going to add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt and pepper, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. 
Then just stir that up. You can add some water if you need to thin it out. And then we're going to add about two cups of cooked spaghetti noodles and just stir that up and kind of toss it in the sauce until it's all combined. I like to add some dried parsley on top, but fresh parsley would also be really good on this as well if you have it. And then you are ready to plate it up. So just add it to a plate and to garnish it, I like to add a few slices of lemon. I just think it looks really pretty and fancy. And there you go. I really hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. If you make any of them, take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Lives Healthy Life. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I have a website, liveshealthylife.com, and I host it with Squarespace. And Squarespace actually found out that I use their platform for my site. So they came in to support me and sponsor today's video. So I thought I would use this as an opportunity to tell you guys about the blogs that inspire me. So I have three favorite food blogs at the moment, and they are Minimalist Baker, Connoisseurs Veg, and The Lazy Cat Kitchen, and I will have all the links for those below. But I wanted to also ask you guys what inspire you. So if you have any food blogs that you go to for inspiration or if you have your own websites, please leave a comment below telling us what they are. And if you don't have a website but you've always wanted one, I definitely recommend checking out Squarespace. It is a super, super amazing platform where you can build and customize and create your own website and you don't need to know anything about coding or anything like that. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can go to squarespace.com slash lives healthy life to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. And if you sign up with them for a year, then you get a free domain name. So don't forget to send me your favorite websites or your own websites below. And if you make a website with Squarespace, please leave a link below so that we can all go check it out. And I'm going to be piling a list of the websites that you guys send me and that you comment, and I'll be checking them all out. And I'm going to feature some of them in a future video. I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys next time